Good evening, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick, StockMarketMentor.com, and I wanna look at Fleetcore Tech. Um, here's why, look, this is a really, really, this has been a really, really good um, pattern for several different reasons. First of all, if you just look at how this stock has traded over the last several months, you know, since July, uh, since here, really, um, since July, the stock hit close to 300 and then has kind of really, really struggled with that ever since July. You know, every time it's gone up, yeah, it broke out a couple times, but then it fell back down. So this is the way I'm looking at this stock because I think it's going to go a lot higher from here. The stock had a really, really nice move to the upside, okay? So the stock's being marked up. It's what you like to see. It's where you like to be. You want to be in a stock that's being marked up this year. Uh, just really, really nice move. But then you get this first sign that maybe there's some kind of change when the stock has this volatility. Uh, rather than just trading up in a nice even manner, the stock had a few days where it really got slammed down. And that's an indication that uh, maybe institutions aren't really buying so much. Maybe they're distributing a little bit. And so it's kind of a shot across the bow. But ultimately, the stock moves up here and then it starts trading sideways. So you're sitting here as a trader, as a technician, you know, a chart guy or lady, um, and you're looking at this and you're wondering, okay, um, am I, is this a stock that, is under distribution that's ultimately going to lead to this markdown phase. You know, Wyckoff um, talk about this stuff. Um, is this going to lead to a markdown phase? Uh, distribution, you know, nice big markup, distribution, and then here we come, here comes the pain. Okay, or is it going to be this kind of move, a little distribution that ultimately turns out to accumulation to start the next phase. Well, in my view, we kind of have that answer, not here, you know, not really here, not here. It could go either way, not here. To me, I, I think we have the answer here. I think we have the answer that uh, where the stock runs up to 300 and then is trading in a fairly tight range, about 10, 10 uh, bucks or so, doesn't really fall that much below the 50-day moving average. Essentially, most of the time it's spending above the 50, which is always a wonderful thing, right? It's the sun shinier. Uh, you know, the weather's nice. You could always get a lawn. Uh, you can always get a lounge chair out by the pool uh, when this is holding above a flat 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average is catching up. Life is good in the hood. And so we see this, and I was looking at this yesterday. I can't remember. I don't think I used this as a chart of the day, but in our strategy session, I had said, um, I'm looking at this stock, and this is looking like it's ready to break out above 300. So boom, a lot of people jumped on that today, first thing in the morning. It's up almost eight bucks, um, less than 3%. So it's not like you missed the, you know, the best trade of a lifetime. But I'm looking at this stock, and I think it goes higher. I think we've got, if we just look at 300 as the top, um, maybe... Uh, you know, 275 is the bottom. You could even say 280. Let's do that. So it's 20 bucks. We'll say if we flip, if we take the 20 bucks difference between the top and the bottom here and add 20 bucks, we get a target of about 320. That's a minimum target. I think this stock should hit 320 pretty easily, frankly, and it could be pretty quickly. So, um, if, if it were me and I didn't own this stock, I would be buying now and I'd keep a stop just a little bit under 300 um, just to contain my losses if the stock does reverse. But I'm looking at this high volume move. This stock could run a bit more. So anyway, so this is the kind of video that you get for free. Can you imagine the kind of videos that you're going to get if you're a member of Stock Market Mentor and you get to hear me um, talk for, in fact, today about 31 minutes about various trading concepts and making money in stocks. So if you haven't joined uh, Stock Market Mentor yet, hey, 
I urge you to do so right away. The videos are really, really good. They're awesome. Do you know why I know that? Because I'm the one that does them. Boom!